Hi everybody! So welcome back to my channel. This is only my third video ever, so please be kind. I'm still very new at this. I'm using my phone. I don't have an actual video camera, so I'm really hoping that this thing doesn't die on me before I get to where I'm supposed to be. So I'm going to try and go really fast. I've already mixed up my paints ahead of time just because I'm afraid that my video is going to die on me. And I apologize in advance. There's a three-year-old little boy running around under my feet, singing, screaming, playing, listening to cartoons. So... And there he is. So I'm sure you're going to hear all kinds of fun stuff in the background while I'm trying to get this done. So um, let me find all my paint here because I mixed everything up and of course now I can't find it. Let's see. I got you. I've got you. How am I missing an entire cup full of paint and the stick that was in it? What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. Oh my gosh. So guys, let me show you really quick. Now this is a brand new mix for me. I have never done this before. Every possible thing about this is new. I'm doing a ring pour on coasters. Um, most people do coasters individually. I'm not that person. I want to do them all as one solid thing so that I have a continuous pattern. And when I pull them apart, each one has a section. So I thought it would be fun to try. I have no idea if this is going to work. Um, because my coasters are rounded on the corners, um, I had some Sculpey. It's just a oven drying clay that you can buy at any craft store. I got this at Michael's years ago. Um, I just stuffed that in the center and then I taped the bottom of the coasters together so that the paint doesn't flow through the center. It usually doesn't happen on the edges, but the center definitely will. And I need the paint to stay on top for sure so that I can really work. Brayden, honey, please go watch TV. Any other time I'm doing this, he has no interest, has, just doesn't care. Now, of course, I'm doing this now and he's climbing up on the chair. So let me show you fast what I used. So, colors. Um, sprayed in Liquitex Basics. Um, I have no idea. Thea, yeah, Thalocyanine. Yep, that's no idea. Pretty, pretty dark green color. That's what that is. <laughs> uh, then I also have Bright Aqua Green, also by Liquitex Basics. Plain white, just apple barrel white. Um, these beauties I just got the other day. Pricey as hell, but so pretty. Um, these are Glitterifics by Folk, Folk Art, I believe. Yep, Folk Art. Um, and this one is called Black Opal. And then this guy is Evergreen. So super sparkly. Um, you can get close. Sorry, I don't know if I'm even on the screen. There we go. Really pretty. So that. And then, yeah, I said white already. So I got everybody. So let's go ahead and start mixing these guys up because I don't want to run out of time. So I'm going to start with my one cup. And I'm going to try and do this so that it's half and half. So let's see what we get. So I'm going to do about half of the white. Let's jump right in with this black glitter. Now, I was afraid that this glitter, because typically glitter paint has clear as the um, medium that it's added to. Sometimes it's tinted with color, but definitely this color, um, if you look, it's just like milky because it's my pouring medium thinned it down so much. So I actually took some of my black glitter and added that in. Um, I also added green to the green glitter because I was afraid it wouldn't be enough. And just because I'm a nut, and I want to show you this, I have more glitter than the average bear. Um, I'm also a licensed nail technician, so I have so much glitter, it's ridiculous. So, yeah, anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to keep going. So there's my white. Let's do about half of this black. And I'm just going to pour right down the side for time's sake. There's the black. Let's do light green. I'm do about half. Because I want it to kind of still float on the top. I don't want it to mix together because when I pour, I want the colors to still stay separately because I want to get a nice deformed, what deformed, <laughs> defined ring out of them. They probably will be deformed, I'm not going to lie, but we'll see what happens. All right, dark green, so the basidamina the green. Yeah, green, buddy, you're right. All right, and then I feel like this still needs some glitter, so I'm going to dump some more in. Okay, put some green glitter in this guy. Buddy, stop! Oh dear God, children, let me tell you. All right, white. 
Now I'm just going to go ahead and dump the rest of this white right in there because this is it. We're trying to do half and half and get it all in there. So we're going to go right down the side. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Now I apologize if I'm covering the screen because it's my setup. Again, I'm using my phone. I can't see what I'm doing. It's literally facing straight down. And I'm hoping to God that my phone doesn't drop on top of my coasters and into my paint. <clears throat> so let's see what happens. All right, let's do the rest of our black glitter. Okay, all black's gone. Oh, what did I do next? I don't remember. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, light green. I can see I did light green next. So let's go ahead. Oh, tip my cup a little. Dump the rest of that down the side. My son is helping himself to some corn chips right now. Corn chips for dinner, everybody. It's what's for dinner. I'm kidding, by the way. I don't, feel my, I don't feed my kid corn chips for dinner. <laughs> he wishes I did. And last but not least, the dark green color. And same thing. Dumping the, please don't jump up and down. You're making the whole table shake. And this is why I need an art studio. I'm doing this in my dining room, which is attached to my living room. It's like one big long room. And of course, you know, kids, you try to do things. And they're all up in your business. He was napping when I started getting this ready and he woke up right before I started to get ready to record. So that's how that is. And last one. Let's add the last of the green glitter. Buddy, shh. All right, so that's all of it. Now we're gonna cross our rubberized fingers and hope for the best because I really have no idea what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna try and pour on the same side that I poured my paint in, and we'll see what we get. Ready? Let me see if you guys can see. You can. All right, here goes. And there he goes with the cereal now. All right. So far, it's looking like I have way too much paint, but I'm going to keep going because I'm liking the design I'm getting. It's just a lot of paint. All right, we're going to stop right there. So I like the way it looks so far. It's pretty cool. Very runny, though. This is a completely different uh, formula for my medium that I added to this than I normally would do. I'm going to try my best to swirl this in a circle like I would do as if I was doing this on a canvas. Let's try and get you over the edge there. Let's try and get this guy over here. Okay. And we'll come back this way. And come back to the center. I'm not getting it all over myself. Probably I am though. Hold on a sec. Let me pick this up. There we go. That's easier. Brayden Michael. I don't know what's going on with the white there. That's kind of strange. I'm not sure if I like that or if I don't like that. It's kind of weird. All right. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like them? I can't decide. Um, maybe it's the composition. Maybe I need to just keep... Whoa, let's not dump it on the floor. There goes my composition <laughs> all over the floor. All right, I'm going to stop. I'm just not going to keep messing with it because it is really pretty. And I wish you guys could see all of the sparkle and the movement that's going on in this. It's really, really nice. Um, hmm. I can't see the back. Let's see. We'll see, you know, it's tough to tell too because I'm using such um, translucent paint, the glitter. 
once this dries, it's going to be a lot darker because you're seeing all of the, the glowiness going on from the glowiness, but uh, I can't even think straight right now. You know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm listening to my kid get into stuff in the kitchen, so I'm distracted. Brayden, what are you doing? There. And normally I would heat torch this, but I think I'm going to stop because I'm afraid if I do too much, I'm going to end up with a bunch of cells and I don't want that, but... They're pretty cool. It's just not what I thought was going to happen. And my medium was literally just a mix of glue and water. That's it. No silicone, no oil, no nothing. Because I wanted to maintain the rings. And yet I still got this weird <laughs> whatever it is going on in the middle. Um, so I'm going to stop this. And I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like once I've separated them. I'm going to give them a few seconds, a few minutes actually, to dry. And just make sure that they don't get wrecked when I pull them apart. I'll see you guys in a bit.